Well, hello everyone. Um, so I'm at Clearwater, Florida right now, and um, just wanted to explain a little bit about this place. Uh, well, the land of it, the geology down here. It's, uh, this place actually doesn't belong to North America, geologically. So even though, yes, currently it is part of the United States and part of North America, this actually, this all right here used to be part of west coast of Africa. I know it's hard to believe, but the continental shelf, the Florida shelf itself, broke off of west coast of Africa about 200 million years ago. So the topsoil that you see here, it it's mostly from it's mostly from sediments, limestones, uh, and um, a lot of it, 100 to 200 feet of this like type of material. It's local. Some of it is actually washed off of the Appalachian Mountains about 200 million years ago uh, when it broke off Africa. All of this was still underwater. So a lot of the uh, sediments, sand and debris came off of the Appalachian Mountains. It basically got worn down from the erosion from the north and get washed down into the Gulf area and just start depositing all over this area for a couple of hundred million years, along with the limestones that starts forming from the marine life. So what you have is basically a shelf that came from Africa, hundreds of feet of dirt, sediment, and limestone that were built up over the last 200 million years, and then it got pushed up over the years as well to form basically what is northern Georgia and Florida. So Florida and parts of South Georgia came from West Africa. And how do they find that out? Well, it's from because of the uh, the rock layers underneath, the igneous rock layers that are underneath the land right here. It's uh, It doesn't match the rest of North America. It actually matches the west coast of Africa. At the same time, the magnetic in the rocks doesn't match North America as well. It matches the west coast portion of Africa. And so you're saying, okay, so where does Florida, where did Florida really came from? Um, so a lot of it probably broke off of, the, again, no one was around here to see it back then, 200 million years ago, but when it broke off of the main supercontinent Pangaea, it probably came off of the west coast of, say, what is today, uh, Marietta and Senegal. So just basically on the western side of Africa, probably close to uh, the Saharan Desert, is where this land came from. So next time you come out to Florida, you're not only visiting North America, you're visiting parts of the ancient West African shelf that this whole entire peninsula, Af uh, Florida, Floridian Peninsula, came from. All right. I'll see you guys later.